Welcome back, everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can find the nth root of a number. Let's go ahead and jump right in. For our first example, we have created a function to find the square root. This function will take the number that you want to find the square root for. Then we will return the square root using the function number argument. In this example, we use the math module that we imported right here. Then to access the square root, we just use dot sqrt. So here we have an example of that, where we call the square root function. And for the number, we put in 49. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get 7. Here we have created an nth root function. The function will take two arguments, the number and the root. To find the answer, we take the number to the exponent or the power of 1 over the root. And notice that we put that in round brackets. Then we go ahead and return the answer. Here we have an example of the nth root function, where we're going to take the cube root of 27. And we run it, and you can see we get 3. Now, one thing you'll notice from time to time, when you use the nth root function that we have created here, you'll get an answer that is close, but not precise. Such as in this example, when we take the cube root of 125, which should give us 5. However, you'll notice that we get 4.9 repeating, which leads us to our second way of finding the nth root, using the gmpy2 module that we imported here. So to find the nth root, all we have to do is reference the module dot root. Then we go ahead and we put in the number and then the root. Let's run it. And you can see we get the correct cube root for 125, which is 5. If you would like more information on the gmpy2 module, you can go to the Python package index. So you can go to python.org, then go to the Python package index, and do a search. And here you'll find information about the package. If you click on the home page, and then scroll down to the bottom, here you can access the documentation. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.